It's that time of year again. Allergy season is upon us. Here now sponsoring our segment from Carl Health with tips on how to manage those seasonal allergies. We have registered nurse Gail Slayball with us. Gail, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, it's that time of year that a lot of people start to get the watery eyes, the runny noses, not exactly the best time of year for those allergy sufferers. So let's just dive right in and talk about what causes seasonal allergies. Yeah, so seasonal allergies are things like the pollen, even like dust mites, if you're allergic to dust mites, like if when um, you're in the fields and all that dust is in the air or even like allergens like pet dander, things like that. Um, what is happening is that your body, some people's bodies, see that as a foreign um, substance and then causes those symptoms that you were talking about. And let's talk about those symptoms because a lot of people get the runny nose, the watery eyes, but there's a few more things that, that could also be triggered. Yeah, so things like digestive system can be affected. Some people get like nauseous, upset stomachs. Um, skin, so like if people are outside for a really long time and are exposed to those allergens, um, you, they can get rashes on their skin. Um, you can get red, watery eyes, even like conjuncti conjunctivitis, that's a fun word to say. Um, <laughs> And, and it's not fun to get either. And just like the really swollen red eyes as well. Okay, you hear a lot of people say they have hay fever, they're suffering from hay fever. Mm -hmm. What is hay fever? Hay fever is really just our bodies having the allergic reaction. So it's the thing that I was talking about earlier, our immune systems attacking those things that they, it sees as a foreign, um, for, foreign object is just hay fever is the symptoms that come with that. Okay, so and those were the, again, the sneezy, the mm -hmm. itchy nose, eyes. Yeah. Even an itchy roof of your mouth. Right, yes. Hmm. Which scares people sometimes because usually allergy, like seasonal allergies, like the pollen and things are not usually life-threatening. They can trigger life-threatening things, but not they are not usually life-threatening. Well, let's talk about, obviously it starts, I feel like most times in the springtime. Do you, we feel like this year is going to be any different, better or worse? Um, I think there's going to be a perceived worsening because we've had longer, we've had warmer weather for longer. So the longer the weather, the longer the weather is warm, the more time things have to pollinate and the more times people have to be exposed to things. Okay, and if we can't avoid that exposure, let's talk about some treatment options because there are some available. Yeah, there's um, medications that you can start with. If you know what you're allergic to, you can take them. Um, it's like Zyrtec, Claritin, Allegra, Zizol are the big um, daily antihistamines that you can take. And then there are corticosteroid um, nasal sprays like Flonase. Um, you can also do azelastine, which is over the counter now, or just like a saline rinse. And there's other things you could do besides taking medication mm -hmm. um, to help reduce your exposure. Just maybe being a little more mindful about keeping your windows open yeah. in the house or car. Yeah, um, making sure that you're not sleeping with your windows open, especially um, that sleeping at night is not good for all those allergens coming in. If you've spent a lot of time outside coming in, changing your clothes, um, showering, leaving your clothes and shoes by the door, wiping off your pets, wiping off your kids. Yeah, um, I wouldn't even yeah. have thought about wiping off my, my pet there, but mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sure they track in all of those, yeah. those allergens as well. Okay, if people are interested and maybe they need a consult or wanna learn a little bit more about tackling those allergies and symptoms, What's the best thing for them to do? Yeah, um, you can reach out to your primary care provider and get a referral to Allergy, or actually Carl Allergy does self-referral. You can just call the Allergy Department. Fantastic. And um, see yeah. an allergist. And you can probably learn more right there at your website. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much. It's, a, it's not a fun time for people who suffer from allergies, but there could be solutions and help available. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about what's happening at Carl Health and scheduling an appointment or just connecting with them, like you saw on the screen there, we will have all of that information at stayliving.tv and we do appreciate Carl Health for sponsoring our segment today.